Uh, right, hello everyone. Um, welcome back to to the new the new term, spring term. Um, hope everyone had a, a lovely Christmas and, and a good New Year. Um, happy New Year from us at Pinewood. Obviously, um, a little bit of change, um, as, as you are aware. You should have had a, a letter from um, myself just after Christmas and a letter before Christmas to say um, a big thank you to Mr. McGacken, who's um, left school now after 20 years of service. So a thank you to him from, from all of us um, and the start of a, a kind of a new era, if you like. A um, bit of a difference today, a bit of a different vlog um, because we have a very special visitor in school today, um, Miss Ellie Simmons. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, as you know, um, we name our classes after um, people past and present that have done some amazing things um, in their lives and with the idea of trying to inspire the pupils here at Pinewood and unfortunately today um, one of those people has managed to come in and join us. Um, so we're going to ask Ellie some questions. Uh, she's done an assembly for the kids already and been around all the classes to show you her medals and things like that um, and she's very kindly agreed to do this as well so um, thank you. For oh yeah no thank you very much. Right, for having me. we get going? Okay, um, can you tell us a bit about yourself and what you've achieved please Ellie. Yeah yeah so I am Ellie Simmons, a uh, five-time Paralympic gold medalist in the sport of swimming. Um, I've been to four Paralympic Games. First one was in Beijing in 2008 when I was 13 and then four years after that was London 2012, the home Paralympics. Um, I came away with those from those games with two golds, a silver and a bronze and then four years after that was um, Rio 2016, I came away with gold and a bronze and then my last games was Tokyo and then since Tokyo I retired and now I do a lot of different things from um, TV presenting to a lot of, you guys know me from Strictly Come Dancing mm -hmm. which I took part in, in a two, couple of years ago I yeah, do lots and lots of stuff but very very honoured to, to come here and then to see a class that's named after me and to meet all the pupils it's been a fab day so far hasn't it it's been really nice mm -hmm. meeting and seeing you all and could you talk to us a bit about your school experience and how that was for you? Yeah, yeah, so um, I yeah, did school from primary school to secondary school and I was in a mainstream school. Um, I loved school. I'm not the most academic, but I love being sociable and being with my friends. Um, but secondary school, I was away a lot due to it was the time when I was competing in both Beijing and London 2012, but school were really, really supportive of me. I did majority of my exams abroad and I had to take a, um, my work away a lot, like workload away, training camps and things. But no, it was really, really good. And yeah, school were very um, supportive of me being an athlete, but then including me in, in, in everything as well. Brilliant. So you mentioned one challenge, so that was keeping up with your schoolwork, yeah, whilst yeah, being a professional athlete. Um, have there been any others in your life that you've had to overcome, and if um, so, how did you manage that? Yeah, I think like um, there's challenges every single day, and I think sometimes we, um, people with different disabilities, we have to probably work a lot harder and do things a lot differently, but we can still get there in different ways. I think challenges has been, I think, balancing both the pressure of being an athlete and especially a home athlete um, and competing and things uh, was tough and trying to manage school life as well. But um, it's been, been very, very good. And both my friends, school friends, teachers at school, my parents and British women have been very, very supportive. And using other people has definitely helped. And just to use those people that I'm sure at school, you know, you've got those individuals who go that extra mile and support you. I use those a lot during my school time. Thank you. Um, so what opportunities has your talent given you? You mentioned some of them, obviously. Yeah, I'm really, really lucky since retiring. Um, my uh, opportunities have been, yeah, really, really fab, really, really, really good. It's from uh, presenting to working in sponsors. Have you seen me in the British Gas advert lately? Uh, yeah. Yeah, being on the British Gas advert, so being jet washing cars. Um, to yeah, being able to travel the world and do documentaries and strictly come dancing and meet, come to schools like this and meet everyone and stuff. So yeah, my day now is, my days are very, very varied and very different. 
Great, thank you. Um, what's the favourite place that you've ever been to? Oh, my favourite place that I've ever been to is... Um, have you heard of the film Madagascar? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I've been to Madagascar and that was just beautiful, really, really stunning. Um, so I'd say that's my favourite place. I've just never seen somewhere so beautiful. Yeah. Great. All right, boys, over to you two. Thank you. What was your reaction to your first gold medals during the Paralympics? So, um, so I showed um, in, at the assembly dinner this morning a bit of a snippet of my three races from my three games, so from Beijing, London, and, and Rio. And the first, remember the first video, mm -hmm. the first little clip when I mm -hmm. won that got the gold in Beijing in two thousand eight. I was a bit emotional, wasn't I? Yeah. But it was like happy tears. So it, I was really, really happy because I'd achieved my dream. I got a gold medal. I went to Beijing and China and represented my country and got a gold medal at the Paralympics. So I was yeah, really emotional and just very, very proud of myself. You know, I bet you both, do you know when you've done like a good exam or spelt something right and you feel really proud of yourself? Mm. Have you ever felt like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how I felt. Do you have any pets? If so, what sort of animal is it? Well, I love that question. So at the moment, I don't have any pets, but I'd love a dog. I really love a dog. Do you have any pets? Used to, but now I don't. Oh, what did you used to have? I used to have a pet ginger cat. Oh, wow. What's it called? What was it called? The name was Lucius. Lucius. Oh, that's a very exotic name, isn't it? But when I grew, grew up, when I was younger, I, we had quite a few animals. We had a cat called Dipstick. And we had a bird called Gobbo, because it wouldn't shut up. It wouldn't stop, stop talking, so we called it Gobbo. And then we had some guinea pigs, and uh, we had some horses as well. So we had quite a lot of animals. But do you know what I really would love? Uh, some chickens. Really want chickens, but again, you have to make sure that they're okay because they can get eaten by foxes. <laughs> How did you feel when you were on Desert Island Discs? Oh, I love Desert Island Discs. Desert Island Discs. I listened to that every night actually to help me get to sleep, but I loved it. It was really, really good. Have you listened to that? Uh, yeah, we've listened to your Desert Island Discs. Oh, I can't remember what music I chose. You had a Lose Yourself by Eminem. Oh, one yeah. Of them. It was Toxic by Britney Spears oh, was another yeah. one. That's the only two I can remember. Yeah, the good one. Yeah, a lot better memory than I had, and I was even talking about it. But yeah, um, I really enjoyed it. Really loved mm -hmm. being up on that. Mm -hmm. Do you still swim regularly? So do you know what? I've started this new year, 2024, trying to swim once a week. So I had a big break from it because I think I swam for so long and um, for so much that I just needed a mental break from the sport. But now I'm trying to swim once a week just because it's such a good sport to keep fit and keep your body moving and mentally as well. It helps clear my mind. Do you, do you go swimming? Sometimes. Sometimes. Do you as well? Yeah, I do. Oh, do you? Yeah. Once a week or? Uh, a sometimes. Do you go with like family or friends? Yeah, I sometimes go with family. Yeah. Where's Where's the closest swimming pool? Uh, Harlow Leisure Centre. Oh, brilliant. Have you been to Harlow Leisure Centre? Yeah. I yeah. Have. And did you like it? It was okay. Was it cold or warm? It was mild. Mild. Oh, that's good. At least it's not too cold, is it? No. No. Do you have any other favourite sports? Oh, do you know what? If I wasn't a swimmer, I'd be a gymnast. I love gymnastics, I love watching it. I wish I could do all the, you know, the flips and turns that they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be amazing to do that. Yeah. That's the end of the oh, question. Thank, thank you ever so much for those questions. Mm -hmm. oh, boys, well done, great questions. Yeah. Um, Ellie, thank you for today. Oh, no, Thanks thank for coming. Much, We've thank really you. enjoyed having you here. Um, and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it too. Oh, I have. I really Good. enjoyed myself. So yeah, thank you ever so much to everyone. It's been fun. Uh, welcome back any time. <laughs> yeah. Right, guys, thank you very much. Um, happy New Year, like I said, and we'll speak again soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.